Alright guys, just jumping right into the demo. I'm super excited. We're going to be doing a half and half using both of the Maybelline Dream BB creams. So one of them is the BB Fresh, which is the hydrating one, the pink one. And then the blue one is the BB Pure, which is more of a mattifying finish. So very exciting. I have the shade 110 Light Medium Sheer Tint in both of them. I feel like that should be an okay match, but we will see. Before we get started, I am going to just show you guys the consistency of both of these okay so this one here is the mattifying one so let's just kind of do one of these and then this one here is the hydrating one so right from the get-go you can tell that the hydrating one is definitely a little bit more transparent so the mattifying one is probably going to give us a little bit more coverage but that's okay we'll make it work with powders and stuff like that so it all equals out in the end but i will show you guys before i do any of that so you can see how much coverage each give but that is what 110 light medium sheer tint looks like in both the mattifying one and then the hydrating one. So I think I'm gonna start with the hydrating one. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit on my the back of my hand, about that much. And I'm going to start working it into this half of the face. Oh gosh, I really hope this works out all right. Just a little bit on the forehead. Oh, it feels really nice on the skin. Like you can tell this one is super hydrating. So I'm just gonna start buffing it in oh it feels like moisturizer it feels so good so that was such an easy application that took like two seconds I'm actually gonna go in just with a little bit that was not the right one this one I'm gonna go in with a little bit more just on the cheek areas this is definitely a light coverage so I'm just going in with a little bit more and really pushing it into the skin instead of rubbing so that I try and maximize the coverage that I can get. As for shade match, this is an absolutely perfect shade match for me. Blends really nicely in, effortless, and honestly, it really just feels like a moisturizer. It feels so good. So this is one side of the face with the Hydrating BB Fresh Cream. I'm really liking it so far, really pretty. Definitely on the lighter side for coverage, but not mad at that at all. I just added a little bit more in the cheek area and I was pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead in with the pure one, which is the mattifying one. Do about the same amount. And I'm gonna apply it the same exact way, just on, yeah, you can tell this one's gonna be a little bit more full coverage, but that's okay. This one is also blending out really easily into the skin. Same thing, color match is really nice. Super, like even though it's a matte finish, it doesn't feel matte, you know what I mean? Like currently it feels still very hydrating. Either that or I did a really great job with my skincare. I'm gonna more so put the mattifying one in my T-zone just cause you guys know I'm a bit on the oily side. All right, so there we have it. We have the matte side here. Even with the matte, I'm still feeling a little bit of glow come through in my skin, so that's great. Um, but it definitely dried a lot faster than this side. So this side here is the Fresh, the BB Fresh. And then this side here is the BB Pure. Honestly, at the moment, I'm really not seeing that big of a difference. The only difference that I'm really seeing off the bat is that this side here, the Fresh, really felt like a moisturizer when I was applying it. Very, very minimal coverage, so I had to go in a little bit more in the cheek area just to balance. The BB Pure definitely gave a lot more coverage, so if you're someone who's looking for a little bit more coverage, you might gravitate towards that one, but it did not go on feeling like a typical matte uh, foundation for example so still a very hydrating product in my opinion it does dry a little bit faster than the hydrating one so you do have to work a little bit faster but both of them really applied nicely with a brush very easy to blend out and honestly the color match was great for me I really like it I honestly don't know which one I'm gonna like more I think I might like I don't I think both of them serve a really great purpose. For example, the matte one is gonna be really great on days where you're gonna be in the sun and you want your makeup to kind of be locked in place. Whereas the hydrating one might be nice if you are struggling and you have a day where you're like, oh my God, my skin just feels like a crocodile. 
that would feel really amazing on because it truly does feel like you're applying a really nice kind of tinted moisturizer. Um, so I think it comes down to your skin type, your preference, and the amount of coverage you're looking for for an everyday basis. That's kind of like the three question marks I would pose when I'm choosing which one to go for. I'm gonna jump off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and see what it looks like. Um, honestly though, I did have quite a few blemishes on this side of the face where I used the mattifying one, and the mattifying one covered them up pretty well for a BB cream, an impressive amount of coverage. So really happy about that. I had a spot here and a spot up here, and both of them covered really well. Comparably, I have a spot up here on the hydrating side, which is still showing through quite a bit. So that is also something to consider. If you are looking to cover up blemishes, I would then recommend going on the mattifying side just because it has that little extra coverage for you. So anyways, I'm gonna jump off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and be back to chat a little bit more and see how it is looking. All right guys, I am back. I just finished up the rest of my makeup. As usual, this look will be up on my Instagram, so if you wanna see how I got it, then head over there. I used a lot of drugstore products, including a Maybelline eyeshadow palette on the eyes. I was feeling very jazzy today. But anyways, let's get right into this. I have quite a few things that I wanna say. When it came to applying makeup on top of these BB creams, I really did like the matte side better than the hydrating side, especially in the concealer area. That is the only area that I've seen like the biggest kind of issue. Once I applied powder on top of my concealer as I would normally with products that I use all the time, um, I started seeing kind of like some build up. Like I'm not even sure how to describe it because I've never seen it before. But basically, I don't know if you can see, I tried to fix it up, but it got a little patchy and moved kind of product around. And I'm not sure if this was really the mixture of the BB cream with the concealer or the powder on top. I'm not really sure, but I did notice that in that area. Everywhere else, products applied fine bronzer, blush, highlight, which were all powder products. But um, just noticed that in the eye area, a little bit of kind of separation, build up in some areas. It was moving around, let's just say. Whereas on the matte side, I had no problems, which tells me that it wasn't the concealer, it wasn't the powder, it was something to do with the BB cream. So I thought I'd just throw that out there. Overall, what I'm liking about the matte side is that it is a little bit more full coverage, so it allowed everything to kind of mesh together a lot easier, whereas this side I needed to blend a lot longer because there wasn't as much coverage to the skin. Overall, both of them are wearing quite well. I am noticing if I rest my face right now, you guys won't be able to see this on camera, but I have very intense smile lines, and that is because I'm a very... I like to say animated person. I smile a lot, I laugh a lot. I'm doing a lot of things with my face, I don't even know. But I have noticed that um, the crease lines for my smile lines on the matte side are completely fine. And then on the hydrating side, I'm already seeing them kind of sink in, product sinks in there quite easily throughout the day. But after 30 minutes of wearing, that's kind of unfortunate. So that kind of tells me that maybe the hydrating side is just a little bit too hydrating for my skin type. I am normal to oily, but I do gravitate towards hydrating products all the time. So it kind of surprises me um, that I'm leaning more towards the matte side, to be honest. But it is what it is. Anyways, I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day and let you guys know how both of them wear um, down below. Remember that in my T-zone, I did put more than that just because I know I'm oily, so I didn't wanna set myself up for a greasy failure today. So I will let you guys know how the hydrating side works out um, with my blush, bronzer, and everything, and then especially my smile line, and then also with the matte side in the T-zone and the rest. But let's talk a little bit more about these guys. So these are both the same price. They're about $11.99 at Shoppers Drug Mart, so that usually tells me that I could probably find it a few dollars cheaper at Walmart, typically. I always leave links to the products below to the cheapest that I can find, so check that out if you are interested. Again, I did get the shade Light Medium in both ranges, and in both ranges there are five shades to choose from. That sounds really low, and that's because it is. It is a pretty low number for a shade range, especially for Maybelline. Maybelline typically does a really great job when it comes to um, shade ranges in their products, especially for more kind of foundation BB cream. So shocked about that. Do believe that it does kind of match to your skin tone as you blend it in, and that is a plus from a BB uh, cream standpoint. So there are some key benefits for both of these guys that I just wanted to tell you real quick. So starting with the BB Fresh, I 
I just wanted to let you guys know that this is not a new product. This one is actually just a repackaged product. So they did originally come out with a BB cream and this was it. It does have a few key benefits that Maybelline does like to highlight. It is an eight in one skin perfecter. It's really hydrating for the skin. So that's definitely a skin benefit if you're struggling with dry skin. It does blur imperfections. It is super lightweight and it does adjust your skin tone as I mentioned. So those are some of the benefits for this one. When it comes to the pure one, this is the one that is a little bit more new. I'm not sure how new, but I'm pretty sure it's fairly, fairly new. Um, it's my first time ever seeing it. I haven't even seen it at the drugstore, so I will try my best to see if I can locate it and let you guys know down below. But this one is also an eight in one skin perfecter. It has a few different benefits. Um, it is, here are the eight benefits. It mattifies, it clears acne, it has 2% salicylic acid, it's hydrating, which I totally agree with, which is kind of odd because usually when you have a uh, mattifying product, they're not overly hydrating, so I love that. Um, it conceals imperfections, totally agree. Minimizes look of pores. I think my pores are looking pretty good. Um, it's oil-free and it reduces the look of redness. So I do agree with number eight, how it does reduce redness. As I mentioned, I had a few blemishes and this alone really did a great job at covering those up and just making them look a little bit more ready for concealer, I would say. And once I applied concealer and, and uh, powder, they looked perfect. Whereas on the hydrating side, it didn't do as good of a job. It definitely helped, but not as big of coverage. So overall, I really like both of these products, but if I had to choose one that I was going to purchase, I would definitely say this one, the newer one, which is the BB Pure. This is the mattifying one. Reason being is I personally am somebody who loves hydrating products, but does have normal to oily skin. So if I can find something that has more of a natural to matte finish, but is super hydrating, that is totally a two thumbs up for me not only that but I do like the coverage that this gives I am somebody who likes a light to medium more so medium I would say for every day and this definitely falls in that category whereas the other one is a little bit too light for me and a little bit too um, slippery I would even say on my skin it almost feels identical to a moisturizer which isn't a bad thing but when it comes to every day working in an office environment I would definitely much so prefer this Overall, both of these guys are winners. It just totally depends on what your preference is, your skin type, what you like your finish to be, how long you want your makeup to stay on, and the finish that you want. So when you answer those kinds of questions, I think you'd be able to as quickly establish which one you'd like. If you are somebody who really likes the types of foundations and BB creams I show here on my channel and the finishes and the amount of makeup that I wear, then I think it's safe to say that you're gonna prefer the pure one, which is the mattifying one, but I will let you guys determine that. The fresh one is also a great choice if you're looking for something super lightweight, if you just wanna throw something on even with your hands and just a dot a little concealer and be out the door. I really think that this is a great kind of like running errands and just want a little bit of coverage but you wanna look like you're barely wearing any makeup, this would definitely be a winner. So anyways guys, that is going to wrap up this review and demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.